Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Miruri and I do videos to legal conversation. So welcome back guys. Uh, kindly subscribe to the channel, share this video with your family and friends and let the family grow. Uh, so today we're going to look at how to approach the court. Uh, and uh, in Kenya, we basically approach the court using what is called pleadings. Pleadings are just documents that are drafted and uh, are used or are deposited in court or, and also served upon uh, the parties that are disputing uh, to help uh, bring out issues of the case in short. Uh, so we have a number of pleadings, number one being the plaint, which is the major um, pleading, the most, the, the commonly uh, used uh, pleading uh, to approach the court. We also have what's called originating summons. We have chamber summons, just to mention a few. So I'm not going to expound too much on these pleadings because I I'll make different videos on each of them just to explain what they are and in what situations they are used. Just going to understand what these pleadings are and what are the rules that govern pleadings. Uh, so the objectives of pleadings, and I mentioned that pleadings are documents that are used to approach the court. Uh, and the documents such as uh, notice of motion, plaint, originating summons, chamber summons, etc. Um, so the objective of having this document is that you bring the parties to definite issues. So because the, the disputants use these documents to air out uh, exactly or to, to, to bring out what really they're disputing upon or, or, or they're disputing over, sorry. They also, uh, they also bring the court to the precise issues of the case. Of course, uh, it's an opportunity uh, for the court to be able to know uh, what the case is about and what the disputants are really uh, disputing over. Uh, it also helps uh, avoid surprise, more so at court sessions, because you're already aware through these pleadings uh, what the issues that are going to be conversed are. Um, of course, uh, pleadings also avoid miscarriage of justice uh, because it, it is a way of informing the court or giving the court information on what is happening. So the court uses this information, uh, of course they analyze it to deliver justice and make sure that justice is served to the disputants. This is just like the objectives of, 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 of pleadings. So pleadings, I'll repeat again, are just basically documents that inform the court and the parties on what the issues of the case are. So there are rules that govern uh, drafting of pleadings. And number one is that pleadings should state facts and not law. So when dra drafting pleadings, you only concentrate on the facts and you don't expound on the law. For example, you can't have a statement like this in your pleading um, that according to section three of this, this person did this and this. That would be stating the law and not the facts. So you state the facts as they are and leave the court or uh, I mean the court process to bring in matters of the law. Um, in pleadings, you only state the, fa the mat what you call the material facts only. So you mention the facts uh, that are relevant to the case. Um, also, when mentioning the facts or uh, expounding on the facts, you only state the facts and not the evidence. So you cannot give the evidence in your pleadings. This is also left for the court process. So you mention the fact and you do not mention the evidence. An example is uh, having a statement like, the driver was speeding at 10 kilometer, uh, not, the driver was over speeding, and then you go ahead to give evidence to prove that the driver was over speeding. So in your, in your pleading, what you will, will, you will have will be the driver was over speeding. So matters of evidence will be dealt with during the court process. Uh, the final one is that pleadings should be precise and should show brevity. So most of these documents should be very precise and not uh, too ambiguous, I mean, not ambiguous, precise and not ambiguous. So those are the rules that guide the pleading. So we'll do another video where we'll start by looking at, for example, what a plaint is, in what situations do you use a plaint, and even attempt to draft some of these documents. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, ciao.